Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, the surprising things men do when they like you. This is how we show love. Okay, really quickly, if you're one of those people that have written me saying you've been binge watching my videos, do me a favor, please post a comment below. I just want to uh, just find out all of those of you that actually have been binge watching my videos. So it's like binge watching Netflix. Have you been binge watching Jonathan? And I, if you have, thank you so much. I'm truly honored. Okay, the things men do to show you that they really like you. And I'm talking about the early stages of dating. Now, certainly when men are in pursuit mode, pursuit mode, um, we're, we're most of the time chasing sex. Let's just be real. We're chasing that physical connection. We're chasing that, 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 that kind of that connection that's not really built on anything other than limerence or lust. And while there's certainly those that have are not always this way. That's the predominant reason why we chase. But once we've, for lack, lack of a better word, landed the prey, <laughs> landed the prey, um, and please forgive me because you're not prey, and I don't mean any disparaging by that, but I'm just saying from the idea of hunt and prey, um, and not with an A, with an E. <laughs> How do you know if a guy really likes you? What are the signs? What does a guy do if he really likes you? And I've noticed something with a certain group of men that are, is very common once they're in a relationship with a woman. They have this one thing, this one particular thing that they do is that they are genuinely givers in the relationship. They're genuinely givers. And they're not coming from a place of their needs being met. I mean, I guess if the sex is there, that's their primary need, but they actually lean into, lean into being a giver. This is because there's a certain type of guy who actually demonstrates how much he likes you with something called acts of service, acts of service, okay? And if you're not familiar with the book by Gary Chapman called The Five Love Languages, there's five primary love languages that how we demonstrate and show love. And one of them happens to be called acts of service. If you're not familiar with the book, I highly recommend you go check it out. But really quickly, it's words of affirmation, or for us Leos, it's words of adoration. <laughs> That's my own one. Uh, words of affirmation, physical touch, uh, quality time, acts of service, and gifts. And for some men, they actually lean into this acts of service very early on because they're givers and they want to show that they like you. So I have one friend, one person I know who uh, was, is in a relationship with a woman and she was having some struggles with family members. Well, he actually leaned in and wanted to create some better communication between the two, some of the family members in his life and he actually wanted to be that mediator, if you will. He just says, look, I can help mediate this. That's a true demonstration that he likes you. That's a true demonstration he cares about you. He actually wants to do things for you. I know of another person where she began a relationship with someone and she was just started a new job and she needed help with prospecting and he goes, oh, I can help you with that. And he created this beautiful spreadsheet for her. You know, there was nothing to gain. These guys already got laid. So there was nothing more to gain. But what they were doing is demonstrating that they actually like this person. They do things for you. They actually want to do things for you. I remember um, when I was in my significant relationship and we had just been dating for a few months and it happened to be that my partner was going to do, um, she was going to be a, a guest on a radio show. And she was driving into a part of town that she felt a little uncomfortable with. And she called me up about an hour and a half before she had to leave saying, I'm feeling really uncomfortable and I don't know what to do. Well, she and I happened to live an hour away. Well, I, I literally dropped everything in that moment. I rushed over to her home so as quickly as I could because she had to leave in an hour and a half. And so I could drive her so she felt safe. I took action. There was This is an act of service. This is an act of demonstrating that you matter to me. And these, this is what men do when they like you. They lean into doing things for you. And you can take the, you know, by the way, have you ever had a man do that? 
please post a comment below if you've had a man that went out of his way to demonstrate he liked you by doing an act of service. Now, please don't say that men don't do this because there are plenty of great guys that actually lean into this. Not all men are emotionally unavailable, devoid of love, commitment phobic, and just all around fuck ups. Although believe me, if you've been watching my videos, call men out on their bullshit, I'm all for that. Um, but you also have to hold space for those guys that genuinely are going to show up that way. And there are plenty of guys, there really are. And that's what I want you to invite you to take hold of, that there are plenty of guys that wanna be in relationship with you. And if you're not feeling that way, then please get my book, What the Heck is Self Love Anyway? What is heck is self-love anyway? This book isn't a dating and relationship book. This is a book about inner peace. Because when you're feeling inner peace for oneself, you become a magnetic attractor for better guys in your life. I know women who go through my coaching program literally the minute they hire me. And I know some of you are watching this. You've literally have met great guys either during the time of working with me or shortly thereafter because the portal of energy has shifted. The portal of energy has shifted and it's not feminine energy. It's not masculine or feminine. It's not leaning back or leaning in. It's energy. It's not feminine energy. It's your heart centered energy. And if you need more help getting into a heart centered energy, then definitely check out the book called The Buddha Dated. This is the spiritual way to approach relationship without all the fucking bullshit of the book, the rules and all this text a guy back to do this or do this to do that or lean back to give him space to come to you. That all doesn't fucking work in the long run. What works is becoming heart centered within yourself, your sovereignty, your empowerment, your sovereignty, your inner empowerment that's going to become the magnetic attractor for a great guy in your life. And that's my invitation for you. How do you recognize a guy likes you? He's gonna do stuff for you because he's genuinely a giver and givers want to give. All right, please post a comment below if you have something to share in here, if you have a question. As, and again, if you'd like some support, and uh, please check out the link for a free discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm gonna reach into the camera and give you a hug of love. If that's okay, I'm gonna ask you to turn to somebody and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. I wanna thank you so much and wishing you a fabulous day. And really quickly, yes, the pictures do always change, but not the one of my mom and dad. <laughs> Thanks a lot, bye-bye now.